Good day, everybody. I want to um, explain a little bit of the history of Rosilda and I. What a roller coaster it be because of both of us. I can lay blame, but that would do no good. We've been together for many, many years. We have never met in person. It was November 7, 2009 that Rosilda contacted me online and just wanted to talk. She just wanted a friend that she could talk to. Nothing more. She never asked me for money. Even to this day, she's never asked me for anything. She just wants to talk. She wanted me to be her friend. Well, I went off through my adventures and things like that, you know, um, I, I, I didn't think that anything serious would come of this. I heard about relationships coming from online, you know, um, meetings and, and the like, but, you know, it just wasn't there for me. It just never really clicked in my heart that something like this could last so long or even mean so much to the people involved. And um, it's been quite a while. Uh, she's put up with me and my shit. Yeah, I haven't been the best myself. I've done my best to be understanding and patient, but you know, a person has their limits and they take so much and then they uh, get kind of emotional and yeah, shit hits the fan. Well, well, you take a little bit of a break time, you do your apologies, your kisses and hugs, your makeup and you know, uh, uh, you move on from it. And the relationship keeps going. This has happened many, many, many times in Rosilda and my relationship. I know a lot of you know I, I used to post much about this online. And then I, I thought about, well, you know, why am I posting my... Kardashian tabloid bullshit online. None of you fucking care. And none of you deserve to be put through that kind of shit either. Okay? You know, I apologize for that through the past years. Um, the recent one that I posted, I was uh, more polite and... Uh, re um, respectful about. I actually left it as it was without a lot of emotion in it. We have been through a lot in our relationship. Rosilda's put me through a lot. I've put her through a lot. And you know, people can say it's excuses or whatever. But when, it, when it first started out, I didn't have the knowledge or the means to leave the country. I was going through stuff in my life that had to be cleaned up and dealt with. And I, I wouldn't have been allowed a passport at that time. I got the passport now. Okay. So. Then it come to the point where. I was dealing with family and taking care of family and family health. Yeah, that lasted a while. And you know what? I did it. I did it for the family members. After that, 
I guess it's my fault because uh, I just kept traveling from place to place and uh, trying to figure out uh, who the fuck am I? Who am I? Who am I? What do I really want? Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? You know, and uh, I stuck with my school and uh, teaching people to go panning and prospecting and uh, just, you know, I never really thought when it comes down to it, what do I want for the rest of my life? What do I want for the rest of my life? A stable foundation block. It comes down to uh, that relationship between Rosilda and I even though it's had its ups and downs, its turmoil, its its breakups and get-togethers, and and uh, you know the makeups and breakups and and uh, all of that, it's the only thing that's really stayed true and stuck with it. And you know the only reason she got mad at me and did all that last week or the week before was because she didn't yet receive the one thing in the mail that I sent a month ago her engagement package and she was mad because she didn't have enough patience to wait another two weeks to receive her engagement package well, I gotta say, she's taught me a lot about her country and her, uh, the, the way her people live. Customs and, you know, festivals and uh, religious things and the like. I, I learned a hell of a lot more online from my other friends who are expats that actually live there. But, um, to actually learn from a native Filipino is really good. Rosilda picked me in 2009. Now it's 2022. And she won't leave me. She's still with me. Well, that is the most steadfast rock that I've ever had in my life. And there's something to be said for that. Now don't question my life and don't judge my life because I don't judge or question yours. But look at this for what it is. Through all the shit we've put each other through, we're still willing to be with each other and stick it out until the end of time. There's something to be said for that. We're still working on this. But as it is right now, I don't have a hope in hell in getting over there. Not until I can make fucking some ticket money. And the bastards and bitches around here just want to keep ripping everybody off. Just as soon as you think you get fucking headway, you're ripped off again. Yeah. When I give this look, you know how happy I am with you fucks. Got some ideas on you. And there's a deep, fast river flowing just back there. But enough of that. I'm talking about Rosilda and I. Many, many, many years. And the harder I try to get there, setback, setback, setback. Well, this time, 
Over, Mr. Nice Guy here in Canada. Fuck you. I'm going to do whatever it takes, whatever I have to do here to be able to get there. And then I'm never coming back to North America because this place is going under. It's going down. You think the shit in Russia and Crimea or uh, or fucking Ukraine is the it's the start? That's just the fucking beginning, people. It started here a long time ago. You just don't see it, and now it's gonna start coming to a head. The best place to be in this world is the furthest away from all the nuclear weapons. That's right. So that's where I want to be. I am going to the Philippines. I am going to be with Roselda. And you know what? Here's a few pictures. And the video in the end speaks for itself. Okay, my love. Thank you so much. Bye. 